Hello, so today we're going to talk about random voltage modules. Um, I haven't had time to pull apart my rack um, because I've got a lot of scores happening right now. Um, but we're going to power through this. I've got two um, random modules here. I've got the Frap Tools Sapel. I've got the Make Noise Woggle Bug. Um, they both do kind of approach random values in similar but different ways. Um, the Woggle Bug in particular, if you have one, you should read the manual because it does so many things. Um, and really, so does the Sapel. Um, just a little bit more Buchla like I guess, and where the Woggle Bug is really like its own entire ecosystem in a way. Uh, so what does random voltage do? <laughs> it's random. So what does that mean? Um, in the real world... Human beings don't play things perfectly, so this injects sort of the ability to have a little bit more of a human element into your music um, instead of this totally robotic thing, which may be desirable. Um, but if it's not, that's when we turn to random voltage. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll take the bottom channel of the CSL, which we talked about in a previous video, I'm going to the Optimix, which is a low-pass gate. We talked about that in a previous video. And I'm going to go out from there to audio, and hopefully we have sound at some point. Okay, there we go. Okay, so... We've got our basic sound. Um, I'm going out of the final output, so the wave shaper is in play. So what does that mean? Well, we can take random voltage and affect that sound. So I'm going to take fluctuating random voltage and assign it to the wave folder here. And the more I let it fluctuate, the more things will happen. Now, when you have a random voltage generator like this, it usually has multiple outputs, um, stepped ones, smooth ones, blah, blah, blah. You see the woggle bug really like labels that stepped smooth. Um, the Sapel has the same idea. The fluctuating is smooth. The sample and hold is stepped. Actually, everything else is stepped, and you have two channels of it. And it's kind of a question of how much you want to get to happen, because um, some of these are bigger changes than others. So there's sort of a octave based step, which I will demonstrate with pitch. And then more subtle stepped. Same thing with the woggle bug. So we've got all these different possibilities for randomness. Okay. Um, other things you can do with random voltage. Anything, pretty much. But let's look at pitch. We've got... So random pitch, same thing from the woggle bug. <laughs> and <laughs> that's even an option. Okay. Um, so with these random modules, you do have some um, aspects of clock. Um, for example, the Sapel has a two regular clocks and then two random clocks that are sort of influenced by each other. Um, Wogglebug kind of can work the same way. It has an internal clock and it has an external clock input, so you can kind of work on the way they compete with each other. Um, you can actually use 
your clock to drive other things. So if I take the Sapel clock and plug it into the Stilson hammer, and now we've got a sequencer running. And we can control the speed of the sequencer by turning the knob. Okay. Uh, so some other thoughts. Let me just get something started here. I should have something. <laughs> okay. And let's take a gate. Let's take a longer cable. And we're going to trigger a maths envelope. And this is all from previous videos. Okay, so another candidate for randomness would be to take the voltage from like a smooth voltage and put it into the release time. And the beauty of this is sort of like, um, because I've got my random module clocking my sequencer, now this random um, voltage I've got assigned to the release time is in sync. Okay. And you can hear, it just gives it like, I don't know, a human element. Okay. Um, so th think about how you could use this. Um, there's, you know, no limit. That's the beauty of Eurorack, is I could take this voltage and go anywhere with it. Um, you know, wave folding. That's another possibility, which we already did. <laughs> so we've got that. Um, I can take it and apply it to the sequencer input. And let's see if it's extreme enough to go. What do we have here? There we go. Um, so the beauty of that is, you know, the Stilson hammer is quantizing everything into a key, and then it's adding the random voltage. So with this idea, we can get sort of a constantly evolving type of thing. Um, so I hope that gives you some ideas to play with. If you have a random module, go nuts, because um, they're really fun, and they, there's a lot of things that can happen that you would never kind of do on your own. Um, so I hope this helps.